What? JK made a video on hipster chicken? What is this, 2011? Oh, I'm glad to see JK back on hipster chicken, even if only temporarily. It's nice to see his lovely perverted face again. Anyway, as for the week's challenge, I think it's interesting that both JK and Chengu mentioned their dads being hoarders and them kind of reacting to it by not keeping stuff because I'm really the same way. My dad is very much a hoarder, which became very apparent when we moved from our house into this condo, just the two of us. He has a lot of stuff and I think I've reacted in pretty much the same way. I don't like keeping a lot of clutter around. I like to get rid of things. But there's one thing I haven't been able to get rid of and that is my journal collection. As you can see, we have some right here and some more up there. So yeah, my dilemma is not so much trying to find something to share with you guys because those journals go all the way back to 1995. It's just choosing something from that mass of word vomit. But I do think I found something pretty special for the occasion. Uh, some of you may have seen on my main channel a while ago, not too long ago, I made a video about how my brother and I, inspired by Harriet the Spy, we used to walk around our apartment complex and spy on people <laughs> and we had little spy notebooks and we had binoculars and it was really stupid. But I found, for your enjoyment, my private spy book um, dated back to July 11th, 1996, which means I was about 10. I start the journal with a whole lot of optimism. I say, I am going to be the most successful spy in Pennsylvania. Not even Paul, that's my brother, can be better than me. For one thing, I'm a girl, and I'm getting my spy information from a girl. Paul, however, doesn't have any information at all about being a spy. I rest my case. I'm really very cocky as a 10-year-old uh, super sleuth. I haven't done anything myself, but I just have so much confidence in my abilities. I took this very seriously at the time. I think Harriet the Spy really got into my head, but it, it's not easy to be a spy in suburbia, so some of this just ends up being kind of ranting from a ten-year-old. Like, there's this piece that goes, I don't know why some people open their car windows and turn up the volume real loud. It is stupid. They are stupid. Why would they want to do that? It's a fair question, but it's not really relevant to the topic at hand. At G9, a sign says, Please do not let the cat out. Like, yeah, right. Tell that to a burglar. Sheesh. I'm so much smarter than everyone else. And apparently there wasn't enough to spy on, so I started spying on my own brother because I wrote, uh, I think Paul was once spying on a teenage girl's butt. Yeah. Paul is talking to a bunch of stuffed animals. Why? Darn, I didn't bring the amplifier. I don't recall having an amplifier. Uh, I probably did at the time, which is sad. Why do you need... It's a little sad. I had such high hopes, but they seemed to be dashed so early, no matter how many times I wrote best spy on my notebook. The last vaguely spy-related entry in this notebook uh, goes as follows. There is a half-naked man in apartment. I don't know, because I think he saw me and I panicked. Not. This place is so boring. At the very back of this notebook, I wrote a poem about spying. And this was because we were about to move from the apartment complex to a house, and I figured there wouldn't be anybody to spy on when we moved to the house, so I was kind of writing a eulogy to spying. Spying is life, good and clean fun. I'll be in strife when it is done. It will give you info and great lots of laughs. I will miss it, though. In my life, it is half. Big open space with lots of grass. Learning, leaving, no trace of all that is past. All this time, all that work, it's not a crime. I'm, I'm not sure that's true. But I'll go berserk if I can't get in one single note. I say I can't win, so why waste my throat? I know it is now that my time has come, so don't have a cow, cause I'm almost done. Anyway, I don't know how you can follow that up with anything, so I guess I'll just say, uh, Ricky, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow if anybody else wants to share some of their childhood doodly doings. That's not a word. Feel free to leave a video response or a comment or something, and yeah, it'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, I gotta go burn this now, I think.